Greetings! I'm Zorch. Welcome to day three of my Snowdonia experiment, where I'm going to be playing each of the Snowdonia scenarios consecutively. And today I'm going to be playing the Britannia Bridge scenario. This scenario has fewer cards than most of the other ones, so I imagine it'll go a little bit faster than some of the other ones will. Uh, it's basically the original base game, where you start at this station here, work your way around the mountain, and get to the top. Surveyor movement is a little bit different. There's a bridge right here called, I imagine, the Britannia Bridge, and your surveyor is not allowed to move past it until it has been completed. The end game is the same as in the base scenario, uh, whenever this last track card is flipped over, or whenever the last ownership marker has been used, the game ends and whoever has the most points wins. But of course, this is the solo scenario, so I'm just trying to beat my best score. And since this is the first time I've played this one solo, this will be my best score. One other thing, there are three scenario-specific contract cards, and I've shuffled them into the deck. The bridge is considered complete whenever this card is flipped over, and all you need to do that is do a construction action and spend four rock. Also unique to this scenario, that actually shows up later in other scenarios, are construction spaces on stations that can be used towards your rail whenever you're collecting bonuses on contract cards. This is the first scenario with a scenario-specific train, and you can tell by the little Britannia Bridge symbol down in the corner. This train is called the Dawn Raider, and it lets you choose to, instead of letting the game lay track, if you have the iron bars for it, you could actually do it yourself. Let's jump right in. I think I am going to be doing a little bit of digging, and I'm definitely going to be gathering some resources. I think I'm going to hang on to my coal for my next turn because there's a lot of good weather coming up. So I will grab another coal. I will grab two iron. And I will be digging out two rubble cubes from this station. And that'll be the end of the first turn. Very short, very simple. Uh, I could have grabbed this 10 point for station one, but I think I could probably do a little better. So onward with the weather. Looks like we've got some fog coming up and some sunshine right now. There we go. To the cube bag. Pulling out six cubes as per usual. There are four event cubes in here. And I just got one of them. I shouldn't have said anything. So there we go, our six. So our first event digs out the rest of the station. Actually, it digs out, <laughs> does a heck of a lot more than that. It digs out one, two, three, four spaces. Ouch. I am using my extra man for sure this turn, and I am definitely going to be gathering some resources because I'm going to need some stone. And I'm tempted to gather even more. I think I might just do that. Uh, there's that big 31 point for four track card. In this scenario, that might be a very good one to have. Digging really isn't going to do me much good. I can't really construct or lay track, so why not? Let's do that. Start resolving these. I'm going to grab six cubes. Starting with one coal and two more iron. Then I think I'm going to grab three stone. And that way maybe I can get in on this Manai Straits card. So the last thing I will do is grab a contract. And I'm going to grab this guy for sure. And move on to the weather. And more fog. That's okay, because the work rate's going to be maxed out. So, now we move on to the cube bag. It's good, no events this time. Let's see if we can recycle cubes quicker in this game than I did in my last one. I will certainly be getting my extra man out of the pub. All right, in this turn, I think I'm going to collect. I'm going to convert, and I'm going to build. And I'm going to be collecting... One more stone and two more iron. Then I will be converting these six into two iron bars. And it might be bad form, but I think instead of building, I'm actually going to lay some track. So I will spend these two bars and flip over both of these guys while the flipping is good. I know I could 
technically get it from the game if I absolutely had to, but I still, I think, prefer I'd rather do it myself. So that ends that turn. Push the weather on and get some fog, which doesn't affect the work rates at all. And we move on to our cubes. See what we get. All right, excellent. No events and no stone either. Got some interesting choices here. I see the big five has come out and the three is also. This is definitely, I think, doable. The five is certainly a gamble. Of course, it's less of a gamble in this game because when the game decides to delay track, I could take it. Plus, there's all these other spaces that can be used as substitutes for track. So, hmm, very tempting. I think it's crazy, but I'm still gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to get the big five and I'm going to also build this turn. Although, from every other turn from now on, I'm going to be needing to gather a lot of resources. In fact, I need it so much, I'm gonna spend my cube to get my extra guy from the pub and use him to do it. I'm not sure how you guys handle the etiquette on this sort of thing where going back and sort of planning out your turn or if you guys put your pieces down and then commit, but I'm too wishy-washy to do that. So, this round I will grab another coal and some iron with this man. And I will build onto the bridge, which will actually give me another piece of track at the end of the game for four stone. It's not terrible. Of course, now, since I built there, I get one free resource of any type that I like. Oops, nope, I had that wrong. This is if you move your surveyor past it, then you get that bonus resource. Anyway, that completes his action. I get this guy back, and I will take the big gamble. Uh, I will also, <laughs> since I had this card, I will grab two more out of the stock. And I will grab a coal and an iron. It's better I do it now than see it later on and then try to rewind. Weather stays foggy. We move on to our cubes. No more vents. Very good. And some more stone, which is nice. Gonna need that. I think I will pay an extra coal to get my worker. And I'm gonna gather a whole bunch, convert, and let's do that now. Uh, let's see. Do I want to grab all of that iron and be flush with bars? I think I do. So I will grab all of this iron. And that's both of these guys finished. And then I will convert, and I will convert Nine into three iron bars. It seemed to work for me pretty well in the last game, so there's no reason not to do it. Move on to the weather. Get some more sun, which clears away the fog. Let's see what the bag tells us. Let's see, hey, no events. Excellent, excellent. Well, I don't see any advantage to hanging on to this extra cube of coal, so I will get my extra man this turn. I am definitely going to be gathering some resources. I'm definitely going to be digging, and I have to decide if I'm going to dig or build. I don't see any reason not to build this turn. So, first, I will gather, and I am going to activate this other contract to get more bonus stuff. I think I'll get four rock and a coal total. Then I'm going to dig out these four cubes, which uncovers this station space. And finally, I am going to build, I believe, ooh, 13 points. That's a lot of points. I think I'm gonna build there with one iron bar and two stone. I'm pretty happy with that turn. Oh, that 515, I definitely should have grabbed that. Oh well. Moving on. Nothing new or interesting here, really. Get some more sun. Nothing changes up here. Having some nice weather on this one. All right, into the bag. Ah, one event. But not a big deal since it's the train event and I already have a train. I have a feeling that this is actually a somewhat critical turn. I have to figure out which area I'm gonna focus in and <laughs> Instead of focusing, I'm going to do like I usually do and be a jack of all trades. I'm going to collect some resources. I'm going to spend a cube to get my extra man. 
<clears throat> I am going to dig and I am going to move my surveyor. Let's see what that does. So first, I will grab a coal and two iron. I will then dig out four cubes, because that's what the current work rate is. I will then move my surveyor one space and claim another cube of any type, and I think I will grab an iron. Where do I want a coal? Mm, I had better get the coal while getting the coal is good. <laughs> On to the weather. That double the work rate card would have been nice this turn. All right, nothing terribly interesting here. I don't want any more track cards. That would be bad. Uh, oops, our first rain of the game. Fog again. All right, into the bag. Oops, looks like we got one event. And it's the lay track event. But, ha-ha, the Dawn Raider <clears throat> is going to actually let me do this. Excellent. So, both of these are now finished. I don't get the rubble, but I can spend my two bars and claim both of those cards. And that is amazing. That's going to be huge. I think I was right. As long as I stay with lots and lots of iron bars in my stockpile, I should be able to lay almost every single piece of track in this game. So, with that in mind, I am going to gather a whole lot of resources. And I think that might be it for this turn. All right, time to gather them up. And I will definitely get three. And then what will I get? I could get three more, so I can have lots of iron bars, and I think I will, since I've got coal. All right, short turn, move on to the weather. Here's one of the special cards for the Britannia Bridge scenario. This contract card lets you get 18 points if you have built a single construction cube into one of the station spaces on the first through sixth station, or the second through the seventh. So, hmm, I don't know if I want to get that one or not. First, we'll draw some cubes. Oop, another event. Uh, the fog has rolled out. Oops, I didn't adjust the weather. So, more iron, coal and a rock, and station completed. So, I never got to build into this one. That's a little bit of a pain, but you can't build into them all. So, cubes back into the bag. I gotta keep an eye on that train event. I could lose my train if I'm not careful. Well, I'm gonna get my extra man from the pub. I will gather some resources. And now I've got a decision to make. Do I want to try to go to dig out that station? Or convert this round? I think I want to dig as much as I can while the weather is nice, even though I won't quite be able to finish that last station. Hmm. Of course, if I'm drawing really bad, I will totally lose my train. So I think I will do something like this. I will gather some more resources. So one more iron, one more coal, and one more rock. I will then dig out the next four cubes, which actually is enough to finish this one. And finally, I will convert these nine into three bars. That definitely protects me from losing my train, which is possible to happen this turn, so no shame in that. Now, I have the feeling that both of these, yep, sure enough. I swear, I did shuffle these. So here's the other one. Uh, you would have to build into the first seven stations and the bridge. Ah, oh, I missed out on that one because I didn't get a cube in here. That's actually pretty nice. So, all right, no more events. Just lots of resources, which is what we like to see. Huh, I didn't adjust the weather again. Hold on a second.
I gotta shuffle this, I'll be right back. Alright, looks like the bad weather is on the way. So that is rain, and there's gonna be more. With that in mind, I am going to go grab my extra man from the pub, and decide what to do next. I would really hate to miss out on this other bridge section. So I am going to build, for sure, since I do have the resources for it. I don't see any reason not to. I am going to dig two times to try to clear up this stuff. So let's do that. Both of these guys are digging. That's two, three, so that's six total, which lets me put an ownership cube into this station spot. And I will build using an iron bar and two stone into this spot. And next up is the weather. Oh, here's one of these guys again. I might be able to do this two to seven, but I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Anyway, we've got more fog and more rain. Let's see what the bag gives us. Yeah, resources are starting to build up out here, so... Ooh. Six, oy. All right, well, I don't know. That's not bad at all, actually. I certainly shouldn't complain. Well, this is going to be slightly painful. Three cards, so... That's one, two, three. I think I will be claiming my extra man. And I really like this 15-pointer especially considering it's a day where I'm not going to be able to get too much done. Is it a good idea to move my surveyor anymore? Mm, I still think there's better things that I could be doing with my time. I definitely am going to gather some things because I need some more coal. I'm covered for iron bars. I think gathering more resources is the way to go. So let's do that now. I'm going to get both these guys back. I think I will get two coal to start stocking up. And I will definitely get two more stone. So there's lots of good stone building spaces out there. Hmm. If I want to start into my iron bars again, I think I will get four stone. So that was four stone, two coal. All right. And I will be getting this contract here. All right. And back to the weather. These are all removed. The work rate goes down, and we get some sunny weather after the rain. Then we hit the bag, which is going to start hitting back shortly. There's a lot of cubes in here. Wee, four, five, six. All right. So, what happens next? Well, I lose an iron bar, but that's way better than losing a train. That's for darn sure. All right, I'll get my extra man. I'm sad. I, I'm almost sad that I grabbed this coal, this stone, but almost. I'm definitely going to be gathering a whole lot more iron, and I think I'm going to build. I will not be grabbing any coal. I will just be grabbing six iron. Then I will be building with four stone onto this space for nine points. All right, that's weather, and we're going to be getting some more fog. Back to the bag, which is going to be some bad news. I imagine there are not many cubes left. All right, well, we haven't had a double event turn. Oh, we wouldn't have been able to anyway. All right, so we lay some track, and I am totally going to lay the track instead of letting the game do it. That is a sweet deal. Use my coal to get my extra worker, and I am going to gather, gather, and convert. Hopefully set myself up for another turn. So that's one man for one coal and two iron. And one man for, I know one iron, certain. I think I will take a rock and a coal. Just to change it up. And one of the big moves, nine cubes into three bars. Then it's on to the weather. Should probably be keeping a little bit closer eye on these. One of these combo ones might be good. Of course, the game may end up ending quicker than I think. Ah, excellent. No more events. Lucky draw there. 
I'm starting to wonder if maybe I could just let the game lay all of the track and not bother spending my time doing it at all. I think that might end up being my strategy for this one. I am going to use my extra coal to get my man. I'm going to gather with one, and then I'm going to build a lot. So, grab that and three iron. Get ready to make another big conversion later. Then, I'm going to use both of these guys to build... I am going to build my first one into this station here. Hmm. I may end up ending the game by running out of ownership cubes at this rate. What else do I want to build on? I guess I will use another iron bar with this man to build into this eight point space. I'm starting to think it might be a good idea to just go crazy with stone and just. Well, <laughs> that's true. I've only got two ownership cubes left. I'm going to have to spend them very wisely. The shorter game does make for some interesting decisions. Uh, I just realized that I'm going to have to use both of these on track sections if I want to complete both of these contracts. And that's probably where I'm going to get my most points, so I'd better concentrate on doing that. I am definitely going to spend a coal to get my extra man. Then I am going to grab a contract, and I'm going to Grab as many as I can. What else do I want to do? Hmm, the work rate for digging is very low. Probably not worth it. I believe I'm going to move my surveyor, oddly enough. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to game the game as much as I can. I'm going to move my surveyor and grab a bunch of contracts until, the, basically until the last track is laid. So, let's do that. Move the surveyor two times. So, first I'm going to grab this guy, which I do actually have a chance of fulfilling still. I'm going to have to count up my stations and see if I can do better than this one. Alright, that was this guy, and I'm moving my surveyor two times up to here. And we adjust the weather. Fog is on the way. I'm not afraid of fog so much in this game. And we have an event. I'm not afraid of the event track either. A very odd situation to be in. Looks like this station's complete. And, well, I'm out of coal, but that's okay. I am going to move my surveyor two times. So, we'll do that right now. One, two. Both these guys come back. I'm really trying to maximize my points now. If I had been paying a little bit more attention earlier, I probably would have done a better job. But, hey, this is one of my first playthroughs on this one, so I can't complain too much. So, we've got fog into the bag. And since I'm not using resources anymore, it's going to go pretty quick. Six. All right. So, first, digging. And it's going to dig out three cards, which is... Almost everything, but not quite. One, two, three. And land track. And it lays this track here. And yes, game, I will be laying that track for one iron bar. I better be careful. I almost missed not having an, another iron bar to get this last one placed. So I am definitely going to be doing some converting at the very least. Oh, these guys all go back into the bag. What else can I do? Well, I'm sad I don't have any more coal. I think my plan to game the game might have backfired a little bit. Uh, I really do want that contract, so I am going to go for it instead of moving my surveyor. So, let's see how this works out. So, resolving. First, we're going to convert these three into a single iron bar, which I have the feeling is not going to last very long. And I'm going to grab this contract and bring him home and arrange the weather. It stays foggy. And go to the bag. And I think this is going to be it, pretty much. Oh, maybe not. Yes, yes, in fact, this is going to be it. So iron goes here. Another station is complete. 
over here. The game digs, which finishes off the digging. Which gives me another build spot, not that I'm going to be able to use it at all. And the last thing that the game does is lay track. Now, I guess... I actually don't have to take this track. I can let the game lay it and keep going. I don't see any reason not to do that. As long as I can stall and I keep this one iron bar, I should be safe. So, on this turn, I am going to... This is a very interesting situation. Not used to it at all. I have to switch my gears completely. Well, I'm going to see if I can't grab the coal contract. I had it in the last game, and it seemed to do a lot of good for me. And I might just also gather, because I need to get that coal somehow. The only problem is that's going to be painfully slow. That's two points a turn. I think I'll either do that. I think it's better to move my surveyor up as fast, fast as I can. Yeah. Yeah, we'll split it up. That should be good. Oop, I keep forgetting. These guys all go back in the bag. All right. I will grab the coal card. Let's throw out the rest of these contracts that I'm not going to be able to get. Oop, I went through the deck again, so shuffle them up. All right. Freshly shuffled. All right. Let's see. Got some rain and some sun. And the fog is gone. I should probably take these guys back, shouldn't I? And I didn't move my... I am getting really lax in my rules here. I'm sorry about that. It's because I'm getting down to the end. It's exciting. So, reach into the bag, and I think this might actually do it. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. Three, five, six, right. Yeah, there's nothing else in the bag. So, yeah, of course we're going to get all these events. All right. Coal. We get another complete station, which will be that one. I'll grab the marker in a second. If there's no more digging. The game... Builds this piece of track, and we get to move on to placement again. This is a really odd game. I'm not used to it going like this. So I am going to be moving my surveyor, and I am going to be grabbing some coal, uh, and I will do that now. Bring him home with one coal. Grab him, which moves my surveyor to the last station. And we move on to the weather. See if any of these do me any good. Does not look like it. And we go on to the bag, and it looks like we already know what's going to happen here. Another station is complete. More digging. And the final piece of track, which I will lay. Thanks to the Dawn Raider. Well, let's see to that. Let's total up the points. All right, it looks like I have 56 station points. 22 track points, which is unheard of for me. A crazy 114 worth of contracts. Good lord, that's a lot. I had zero points for my train and 15 points for getting my surveyor up to the top of the mountain. That gives me a whopping total of 207, which is just insane of a score for me. By far the highest score I have had. <laughs> my next one was on my, my last scenario at 181. So, I don't know if, uh, Maybe I gained the game a little bit more than I should have, but uh, I don't know. Um, I have the feeling that other people are probably going to blow past me if I did this good. But we'll have to see. This is a, it's a good scenario. Um, it's really, uh, it's, it feels very light compared to Blanau and the, the last one, which had a lot of that sort of jumping back and forth, which I think might have slowed things down a little bit. Uh, plus, there's not very much uh, actual track to lay. Uh, compared to the first scenario. So, uh, I like it though, it's fun. We'll have to see how it compares to everybody else's scores.